Hello. Let me um, get Facebook on here, back on here really quickly. Let's see. Hello everyone, those of you who's just now coming in, I'm getting Facebook on here. Hello, 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 everyone who's joining. Hello there. Give me one moment. I'm getting Facebook on. Hello, hello, hello. Good morning, good morning, everyone. Thank you, thank you so much. Hello, where are you tuning in from? Instagram, Facebook is coming on in. Wayne, Michigan is here. Good morning, thank you, thank you, thank you. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Franklin, Virginia. Hello, hello, everyone. everyone. Toronto is here. Listen, thank you so much, Darren Stewart. I believe that is. Donna is here. Macon, Georgia. Turks and Caicos. Haven't been there in a minute. Hello, hello. Louisiana, Boston. New Jersey, hello, Facebook. Jasmine Chavez, hello there. Good morning, Georgia. Hello, everyone. Yes, yes, yes. Good morning. No more losing. New Orleans, Bermuda. I haven't been there in a minute either. Good morning, good morning. I'm looking forward to another vacation, and I think the next one I want to go to some type of hour. Washington County, Mississippi, Chester, South Carolina, South Africa, Houston, Texas, hello, Detroit, good morning, good morning, Facebook, as you come in, share this video, hello, hello, Dallas, Texas, North Carolina, yes, I do, um, Green's Pastures of Hair, I believe it is, Chicago, Tulsa, Oklahoma, Caribbean Islands, Chicago on Facebook, Jamaica on Facebook, College Station on Facebook. Hello, hello, everyone. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I pray that your day is going fantastic so far. It is time for Saturday's Word. Yes, absolutely. But thank you so much for joining me on today. I pray that that which God has given me will bless and change your life for the better. Amen? Amen. Yes, I'm going to give Facebook a little bit more time because um, something happened and I had to restart them. So, uh, Facebook is coming in. Hello, hello, South Carolina. Thank you, thank you so much. And also, thank you to everyone who uh, sent out all of those amazing birthday wishes who joined me on my virtual birthday concert. Thank you to everybody um, and just your testimonies and how much you have enjoyed it. Thank you for sharing that with me. Um, also, I, I did let my dad know um, of all of your birthday wishes and all that good stuff because his birthday was this past Thursday. 
um, on the 29th. So thank you so much, and we greatly appreciate all of you for your kind words. Delaware, Jamaica, hello, Ohio. Mm -hmm. Philadelphia, North Carolina, hello, 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 everyone. Again, I pray that your Saturday is going well. I'm not going to hold you long. Um, but it is time for Saturday's word. And as you read on the title, it is time for you to unleash the beast that's in you. Can you just put that on the screen? Unleash the beast in me. Unleash the beast in me. Today, I am unleashing the beast that is on the inside of me. People of God, when you get to a point to where you've had enough, that is not where you say, well, I guess it wasn't meant for me to have this one. I guess it wasn't meant for me to be there. The devil is a liar. That's what the devil wants you to do. After you fought and you fought, he wants you to feel inferior. But you've got to remember that God has already written a script for your life. He wants you to make it. He wants you to see your victory. But you cannot see it if you fall weak to your circumstances. That's why I've come to declare that this one is about to unleash your inner beast. I said, this one is about to unleash your inner beast. What is that? What is your inner beast? It's your faith and your strength to fight. I speak that your fight won't even be the same. Your language won't be the same. You are about to gain another level of respect because the enemy, you and the people around you are about to see that you are far from weak. I said, you are far from weak, just like the woman with the issue of blood. She gained another level of respect even from us because even though she was going through this extremely tough situation, she showed us and her issue that when you get through, I am far from weak. I may be weak in my body, but I'm not weak in my faith. Though I've tried everything I know to try, when you get through, I am far from weak. What does this tell me? Tells me instead of her giving in to her circumstances, she unleashed the beast to press to Jesus. I'm paraphrasing now. She said, I've tried it all, but I got some more in me so I can see my victory. And because she pressed, she won. You have to understand that you cannot fight without faith. The stronger your faith, the stronger you become to fight. This also tells me that you cannot fight with the wrong mindset. People of God, if you're going to fight, you're going to have to fight. Sometimes we give in because it's easier to do. And not only that, but when you do, the enemy will manip manipulate your mind. Having you said things like, it wasn't meant for me to have it. No, I curse that spirit right now. And whatever God has for for you it is meant for you to have it if he says now that's what he means if he says soon that's what he means he's not going to speak it if he doesn't want you to have it I said he's not going to speak it if he does not want you to have it if God doesn't second guess your victory why are you as a matter of fact according to his word he already gave you the victory I've come to tell somebody who's watching today that you got to unleash the beast that is on the inside of you. Don't sit back and accept or take what the enemy is doing. Don't sit back and accept what you're going through. No. Unleash the beast. You've got a promise. Unleash the beast. You've got to get your restoration. Unleash the beast. You've got to accumulate your blessing. Unleash the beast. You've got to reach your destiny. Unleash the beast. You ought to just begin to type that on on the screen, unleash the beast, unleash the beast that is on the inside of you. I know what you're up against. I know it may be strong, but God is causing your faith to go to another level today because you got to see this victory. I said, you've got to see this victory. It is time for you to unleash the beast that is on the inside of you, but you cannot fight without faith. 
So today I even speak to your faith and I command it to be increased to another level. I command it to intensify to a greater level even now in the name of Jesus. As you conquer whatever it is that you're up against, I speak that you're going to see your victory in Jesus name. Unleash the beast. Absolutely. Unleash. Your fight will not be the same. Your language will not be the same because there is another level that God has taken your fight to because even God wants to see you accumulate everything that he has declared over your life. He's not going to speak it if he doesn't want you to have it. And it is so in Jesus name. It is so in Jesus' name. Unleash the beast that is on the inside of you. What is that beast? It is your faith. Don't allow your circumstances to become more stronger than you. You are not weak. You are not weak, but you are strong. You are strong. That's what God calls you. And I declare that it is so in Jesus' name. Absolutely. In Jesus' name. Now, wherever you are, you ought to give God a victory praise right there. That's it. You ought to give God a victory praise right there in Jesus' name. Unleash the beast. Absolutely. Unleash the beast that is on the inside of you. It's your faith. It's your strength to fight. You will not fall weak to your issues. But just like the woman with the issue of blood, you would declare, I got some more in me. I've done everything that I feel like I could do, but I still have some more in me. I got enough faith to press to Jesus. I got enough faith to see my healing. I got enough faith to see my home being restored. And it is so in Jesus' name. Absolutely. Fight to be increased in the mighty name of Jesus. Absolutely. Absolutely. It is so. And it is well. So you may as well put a smile on your face. Because after today, your fight will no longer be the same. God bless you. I love you. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday. And don't forget that you've got to unleash the beast. What is that beast? It is the faith that God has given you. And it is so in Jesus' name.